The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. In the last video, we learned about PIR sensors that use infrared radiation to detect motion. In this video, I'll use a PIR sensor to make a motion-activated snow globe. quick trip to the dollar store and scrounging around in my craft supplies, I found some fake snow options. Yeah. So these will go in this tube globe. And when motion is sensed, the circuit will turn on a pair of fans, which will blow the snow around, as well as turning on the LED in this tree. After a short period of time, it will all automatically turn off. Let's build the circuit. I'll start with the 555 timer circuit. Pin one gets connected to ground. Pin two is the trigger that will connect the PIR sensor and a little tack switch for testing. Pin three is the output, so this wire will end up going to the coil of the relay. The red wire gets connected to pin four, which will connect to VCC, holding the reset high and inactive. Pin five will connect to ground with a small capacitor. Using a 100 microfarad capacitor and a 100 kilo ohm potentiometer, so I can manually adjust the timer duration uh, at max, it should run for about 10 seconds. So pins six and seven will get tied together, and then the capacitor and potentiometer will be connected to those. Pin eight, the potentiometer, and the 10K resistor that goes to the trigger are all going to get soldered together because they all need to connect to VCC. So I'll also add a red wire that I can use to connect that later. This tack switch will let me manually trigger the timer, and that way I can use that for testing and setting up the timer duration without having to mess with the PIR sensor just yet. The 
PIR sensor signal will turn this transistor on, which will pull the 555 trigger pin low to start the timer. Okay, so this header is what the PIR sensor is going to connect to. So the left pin is VCC, the middle is the signal, so that connects to the transistor, and the right pin is ground. Motors tend to pull too much current to power them straight from the 555 output. So uh, I am routing the power through a little relay here. This relay is rated for uh, one amp and that is more than my two motors and my LED combined. So I'm all set. So it's always good to have a diode across the coil of your relay. So I have it connected to the positive side of the coil. And since all of my ground is gonna be connected anyway, I can just tie it into the ground over here. Output wire from three goes to the coil of the relay. I'm adding three screw terminals, one for each output, the two fans and the LED. One side of the terminals will get tied together and go to VCC, and the others will get tied together and go to the switch portion of the relay. Okay, last components to add are the power jack because I'm going to be running this off of an AC adapter and I'm adding one more screw terminal because I want to have an external power switch so I can add some wires to this and wire into the screw terminal and then I'm going to be all good. You know anything about these jacks is always have to drill holes for the terminals. Last thing to do is to tie up all the power and ground connections. Why did I just get that song from Xenon Girl of the 21st Century stuck in my head? Zoom, 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 make my heart go. A supernova girl. Interplanetary megastellar, hard of static, there's no gravity between us. Our love is automatic. Zoom, 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 make my heart go. Supernova girl. Power pin of the power plug goes to the big old fat switch. This one, all the VCC wires get tied in here by all my screw terminals, connecting to the other side of the switch. Ground, ground control to major town. Ground control to major town. That's how that goes. Who was I copying? Systems on, amateur records on. Ground control to major town. Okay, that's it for the circuit. Now let's build a snow globe. 
Okay, the circuit's done. Now, time to make it snow. Yeah. Okay, now we just have to plug everything in and button up the case. Well, next time you need to make a motion activated device, you know where to start. If you have any project ideas using a PIR sensor, or if you have any questions about using one in the circuit, post on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning.